Okay, I'm going to share with you the number one perfectionism cure for marketers. I, I got a request from a subscriber who said, as, as simple as it sounds, I'm still trying to figure out the right delivery of the first email message I'll send about my new product. I know I have to tie the whole thing to a good story and make it engaging enough. I'm used to helping clients with this, but always have a harder time doing the work when the product service ask is mine. This time the product is all mine and I'm about to start the pre-sales process. There's always an intense pressure when I feel I'm self-promoting my service or business. I know I have a great network and I've always been very careful on how I use it, but this fear is definitely holding me back. It seems uh, from Alan. So, uh, I mean, perfectionism absolutely will hold you back. And the more that you adhere to this idea that you have to get it just right, or you can't upset anybody, or you can't put out anything with any imperfections, the more you will actually be held back. And, um, and there's actually a really, really simple cure for this. And the, the absolutely most simple cure for this is test it. Like if you're concerned about the sending out like a, a total test to everybody do a limited test if it's if if it's an email send it to a small portion of your list if it's if it's a social media post you could put it up and leave it up for a day or two and then take it down you can see what kind of response it gets you can see how people engage with it you can see you know what you hear back from people and you you know you may step on some toes you may I don't know. You may you may turn some people off with it, but the 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 bigger danger is like just doing nothing. The bigger danger is uh, people are are very forgiving um, of imperfection, and yeah, okay, uh, maybe you don't want to come across as as being imperfect again and again and again and again and again, and um, you know, but I am actually, and it doesn't hurt me that much. Um, I. Like when the substance is right, perfecting everything about it is much less important. So focus on getting the substance right. Yes. But then do you have to perfect every little detail? No, because th you don't even know if the, that substance is what the market is going to latch on to. You don't even know if the market's going to be interested at all. You don't even know like anything about what kind of response you're going to get. You're just making a whole bunch of assumptions and you are almost never right when it comes to the assumptions that you make about how people are going to respond to you. Neither am I. Like we learn and we develop kind of a sense for that as we grow our skills and our experience. But the longer that you go, the more humbled you become to not realizing that, you know, what the market actually wants and realizing that the only thing that we can do, the only thing that we can do is make our best guess and get it out there and test and like gather some data. So um, actually my, my friend David Bullock had, had an acronym for this that uh, you define a strategy. You identify the tactics that you need to, uh, to, to implement that strategy. You take action. You test, uh, I'm sorry, um, you take action, so you, you you put it out, you get the results back, and you track and test. So you start, um, you define the strategy, you define the tactics, you take action, and you put it out, you get the results, and you track and test, and you just repeat that process. Strategy, tactics, action, results, track and test. And so you follow that start process that you... You, you cannot you cannot wait for perfect. You have to test things. And yes, limited tests are great. Like going all the way back to Claude Hopkins, he would say, you know, we, we, we test in three or four cities before we roll out a national campaign. We test on a small scale before we roll out something big scale. We test between things to see which one works better. But you test, you test, you test, and you gather little bits of data here and there. And it can be a more formal data collecting process or it can be a more informal collecting process. But the more tests that you're doing, the more you're going to be able to find perfect because you can't find perfect in your head in terms of marketing. You can only find perfect out in the market. You can only find what people respond to more than something else. And that's like that's the process of, of discovering what's going to be the control, what's going to get the control. And... Um, you have to be willing to test in order to do that. So your number one perfectionism cure when it comes to marketing is just testing. Like if you are willing to put it out and test and accept that it might be wrong 
but that you can learn from that and you can do better next time, then that's your biggest opportunity to get better and better. And it's your biggest opportunity to create momentum and the success that you want. What do you think? Like, what's your experience? I know, I know some big businesses are bigger and they, they put in more layers of protection before they, they put out the marketing just to make sure that the, um, that the likelihood of success is as high as possible. Others, um, you know, are more entrepreneurial and will throw something out on a Monday, uh, you know, at noon when they came up with the idea on Monday morning. So where, where do you fall? Like, what, where do you fall? Um, leave a comment below. Let me know. Also, make sure that you like this video um, so that the magical algorithms of the internet will share it with more people people like you and also so you can get more content like this. If you have people who you know would find this valuable, you can share it with them directly and subscribe. You can follow me here. You can also go to BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com to get more content from me uh, Monday through Friday on marketing, copywriting, business building, selling, and more. I hope you've gotten a lot of value out of this and I look forward to seeing you again in your next video. I'll see you soon. Bye.